Hi everybody, it's May 5th. We're in Upper Michigan, um, right in the central of the UP. And today we're going to go look for some morels, so I hope we find a few. So let's go take a look. Leave the basket here. Lots of popple trees to look through. I'm really excited. I hope we find some today. Let's go take a look. Well, I think I already see one. Right over there. Let's zoom in on it. See it right in the middle of the screen? Let's get closer. Hmm, looks pretty healthy. Perfect. Good. Good sign. There's the first one I just found, and another one right there in about the center of the screen. Let's pick that up. And I just stood up in the same spot and I see another morel over there on the side of the, um, that big tree, right hand side of the big tree. I'm still out looking for morels. I've been out here for maybe about an hour so far, and I found about 10 morels, but they're all pretty small. So I'm going to lay them out here and show you what they look like. And I'm going to walk for maybe another half hour or so and see if I find a few more. And if not, I'll probably wait for maybe two or three more days before I come back out. So like I said, it is May 5th today up in the UP. And I'm going to take a walk up this hill over here. I'll videotape it as I go see. Oh, hey, there's a nice one. Good. Yeah, that's good. Okay, let's cut that off and, and then kneel down here and look around and see if we can find any more Let's see. I think I see another one right over there. They sure blend in with the leaves good. It's hard to hard to find them. There it is. Another one right next to it. And I see another little one right there. It's pretty tiny, but I might as well pick it anyway since I'm out here.
I do see another one over there. So I'll go over there and pick that and hopefully uh, we keep finding them. So far I think there's been six in this patch here. Pretty good. I like to put them in this mesh bag because then the spores can fall on the ground when I'm walking around. And I do happen to see another one right over there by that downed popple tree. Looks like a pretty good one. There's a little tiny um, false morel that they call beef steaks, and this one is only about the size of a quarter. Really tiny, and a lot of times you will find these around where the black morels grow. And um, some people do eat these, but it's not a good idea to because, you know, it does build poison into your system, and over time you actually can get sick if you eat enough of these. So they're kind of ugly and gross anyway, so... Um, I wouldn't want to eat that. A beef steak, false morel. Throw it. Well, I'm still walking around in the popples, and I was thinking about going home and having lunch. And I just seen this morel as I was walking, and that must be the nicest one that I have seen yet today. The biggest one. I'll just pinch that off. Nice. They're a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun looking for morels. They're not easy to find. But if you can find them, it's definitely worth it. So keep on looking. And I just spotted another one down in that hole there. Also, when you do find morels that are about this size today, um, you only have about 10 days to really find them. Morel season is really short, so if you want to hunt them, you need to be out for probably about 10 days to two weeks looking for them. They don't last very long. Slugs usually take them over. I just got out of the woods and uh, probably found about 20 morels. It's the beginning of the season and in a couple days they'll probably be a lot taller and maybe a little bit easier to find. Um, I only live like a minute away from here so I'm probably going to come back in a little while. Probably take a walk this evening. When I get back home I'm going to lay my morels out and I'll show them to you. Bye! Here's the morels that I got today. Um, I think that was like 18, I'm not sure, but... So it looks like I'm gonna go back up on the hill and take another walk. Um, I kinda can't resist going up there because I know there's morels growing. So I'll see you up on the hill. Well, I just got back out of the woods and took about a 15 minute walk and I did not find any morels, so... I'm gonna go up the road a little ways and climb this steep hill 
and I'm hoping there's going to be morels up there. I'll see you up there. So I was um, just driving really slow down this road on my four-wheeler, and I did just spot a morel. Maybe I'll park and look around here for a minute. So I just pulled over here and parked. Um, got off my four wheeler, and right away I see this little one. Pretty tiny, but still tastes good. Spend a little time looking down the edge here. I was starting to wonder if I was going to find any. Well, I only found two um, in the last maybe half hour or so. Well, we're just walking along here, and I did see a morel right up there on the um, on the right-hand side of that log, about a foot away from it, right about in the middle of the screen. So I sat down here on this log, and um, I noticed this other morel right there. Pretty nice. I should actually take a picture of that. Big. I'm glad I stopped here. I just bought this big one in the um in the grass. By far the biggest one today. Really nice. Very very beautiful. Wow. And I just stood up from picking that really big one, and I see another one right away. So it's working out really good here. It's been a productive day of morel hunting. You know, this one here does not look that great. Um, maybe the frost got it. But I'll cut it down anyway and take off the bad pieces. Yeah, that doesn't really look that good. Kind of unhealthy looking. Sometimes when I find them like that, I I just crumble them up and let them go to seed like this for next year. Wow, I see another really nice one over there. It looks pretty huge from this angle. Let's go over there and get that. Well, this has been a nice little patch here. I've only been here for about 10 minutes and... I think I have found, this is my sixth morel here, so I'm not too far from my four-wheeler either. It's four-wheelers right there. That's pretty good. It's been a good day. You know, this is something that I never minded doing by myself. Although I love going with my husband, too, and we'll be in a few more days, so I look forward to that trip with him. You know, I had a really great day today looking for morels, and the weather was so beautiful. About 55 degrees, um, that's perfect. Tomorrow it's supposed to be like 75, and that's a little bit too hot for me, so I'll probably go out in the morning and look around for a little while anyway. But very beautiful day. One thing I like about picking morels today is that the leaves are nice and flat. So it's a lot easier to spot mushrooms when the leaves are laying down like that. So this has been a pretty productive spot. Keep on looking. Another one. Maybe 
25th. And those are pretty good. I don't know. The season might not even go for another 10 days. So if you want to pick morels, you have to have the right timing. You could miss them. But I haven't missed a year in 20 years. So here's another morel. Right there in front of that green moss. Well, I've had a good day looking for morels, and uh, I just stopped in the spot and I found quite a few, maybe seven or eight, and um, and this is my big find of the day, so May 5th in the UP, not a bad day. I think a little over 30 for the day, maybe about three and a half hours of time looking, so it was very worth it, and I'll probably be out tomorrow morning. Bye.